After making its infamous landfall, Hurricane Michael is still a Category 3 as it enters the state of Georgia, with winds of 125 miles per hour and a pressure around 932 millibars. That's data from 5 p.m. It may be slightly different at 6. As of 6 p.m. Eastern Time though, the position estimate is 31.1 North, 84.9 West, still a stage 4 on the CDPS scale, extensive damage potential even this far inland. 4 miles from Donaldsonville, 55 from Albany, 141 from Macon, 235 from Augusta and 301 from Columbia, South Carolina. A hurricane warning remains in effect for the Okaloosa Walton County line to Sewanee River and a tropical storm warning for Fernandina Beach to Duck, North Carolina and you saw how far inland those warnings extended. Storm surge warning and storm surge watch in effect as well, the storm surge watch in the outer banks of North Carolina. Over the next few days this is what we expect from the storm as it continues to plow towards the northeast. It will be undergoing an extra tropical transition as it moves off the coast of the mid-Atlantic and could intensify a little bit as it does so off towards Atlantic Canada as an extra tropical storm and then over the open North Atlantic. Tropical storm conditions are more than likely in the Carolinas. Um, with hurricane conditions still likely in parts of Georgia as the storm moves through. As said, it's still a Category 3. Uh, sea surface temperatures aren't going to be much of an issue, but you can see what we're looking at there on sea and on land. SST is still warm off the coast of the southeastern United States. Here's another look at that wind forecast over the next few days. I think the model may be downplaying it slightly, but there you can see quite clearly, clearly this system moving off towards the northeast. Uh, could even be hurricane force as it moves through there, uh, but maybe only briefly as it turns post-tropical. We'll see what happens with that. A final twist to what has been a remarkable tail and devastating tail with this storm but most of the winds should be displaced to the south by then meaning that the chance of tropical storm force winds aren't particularly high for the northeast 99 percent chance in albany 55 in savannah 35 in charleston 25 in wilmington and 58 percent chance in norfolk places further north than there chances are very limited indeed as said the storm force winds should be displaced to the south so as the storm weakens you can see that weakening trend indeed one or two of the models take it back to hurricane force winds whether it's still tropical by then or not after it moves off the coast remains to be seen um, looking at how high the wind shear is i suggest that maybe it is post tropical by then when it reaches those hurricane force winds again that is actually still an if and there's that long range model run there you can see it moving across the atlantic and then eventually ending up in Western Europe. So this is how the storm has been looking on the rapid scan GOES-16 imagery in the last few minutes before this update was recorded. It just moved across the border into uh, Georgia. Uh, quite an interesting contentious point there is whether it moved over the south extreme southeastern tip of Alabama before entering Georgia. It appears that that may have been the case and now heading through that state of Georgia with hurricane force winds. A little bit of a gap there on the eastern side now as the convection begins to wane. We'll have more updates on this storm as it continues. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com with the latest. You can also find our YouTube page, you're probably there already, but if not, subscribe if you haven't so far. You can also find our Facebook page, Force 13 all in text, and it's at Force 13 on Twitter if you'd like to get in touch with us on there. You can also help the project become even better by enjoying the benefits of patronage. You can find out more information about how to become a patron and what those benefits are at patreon.com forward slash force 13. You can also add force 13 on Skype and fool 13 at extension 9094 on Discord for tropical weather chat. <laughs>